Welcome to my Excel Power Tip channel. In this video, I'm going to show you another real world skill and how you can find invalid email addresses simply by using Excel formulas. So, here we have a list of email addresses. Some of them are invalid and some of them are invalid. For the invalid ones, uh, I've created a number of columns which looks at each uh, email address and depending upon what the category of the error is, uh, gives a uh, information in terms of what the uh, the invalid uh, issue is. So, for example, uh, column C, no dot. Column B is no at. Uh, column E, there's two ats, which is incorrect. Uh, column F is a leading space at the beginning. Column G, trailing space at the end. And column H is middle spaces uh, within the email addresses, which is in also incorrect. There's also an issues column at the end, which gives you the number of issues per email address. So either the zero, one, or multiple. And then you can uh, filter for those um, uh, depending upon what you want and what you want to see. I've done a step-by-step -step guide on each of the error checking formulas, checking for invalid email addresses. So for this one, no dot. Uh, the email address, uh, which is in cell C2, there's no dot in the email address, which is um, incorrect, invalid. So the the first we do, step one, is we search for a dot in the email address, which is in cell 2, C2. Um, uh, if it does exist, then the value, it returns the position uh, of the, the character that we're looking for should be greater than zero. If it doesn't exist, then it returns an error value. So in this case, um, it is returning error value. So next thing, step two, rather than show an error value, uh, we wrap it around an is error function and check to see if it's true. And the next step three is, uh, if it does equal true, we're wrapping that is error formula uh, within an if statement. And if it's true, then we want the value to be returned not dot to indicate um, to the user um, that the email address has no dot. Then finally, uh, we complete the yeah, email, uh, the if formula uh, to um, put nothing uh, if there's no issues relating to um, uh, missing dots in the email address. This next uh, error email checking formula, uh, this time checks for no at symbol. And similar to the no at symbol, what it does is it looks for the at symbol and sees if it's greater than zero. And then we wrap it in the is error function, and then we wrap the is error around an if error. And this time, if there is no at, we return no at. And then we finally, in step four, complete the if formula. Uh, so if there's uh, no issue, if there's no at issue, then put nothing. The next invalid email address issue is looking for email addresses with two at symbols, which is also incorrect. So in cell C2, we've got a to at symbol email addresses, which is incorrect. First step is the search function. It searches for two ats, and if there is a two ats, then it'll be greater than zero. And to test the condition, then that's true. Then we wrap that in an is error formula. So um, we check to see if um, the this condition, the test, is search uh, with greater than zero, is that a, uh, a true? Um, no, it's not true around the is error. Uh, we test if it's false. Um, which is what we want, and that is returned true. And then we wrap the is error formula uh, around an if formula to say that um, if that is the case, then we want the value to at um, uh, return value to be shown to the user to indicate that's an error. And then we complete the formula um, with uh, for the logical test. If it's false, nothing to show to indicate that there's no issue relating to two at symbols for the email addresses. Then the next one is leading spaces. Um, this one is a bit straightforward. Um, so here we're just checking to see if there's a leading space. So if there's a space at the beginning of the string, and then we just wrap it around an if formula, then we complete the uh, the uh, if formula. So there's nothing, then return nothing. Then similar with trailing spaces, uh, we look for spaces at the end of a string for the email addresses. So in this case, we use the write function. And then we, in similar to the leading spaces, um, we finish off the email address. 
the next issue is looking for spaces within an email address so these aren't spaces at the end or the beginning but at the uh, within the email address so i've expanded c to the email address so as you can see from the position we've got a space here and we've got a space uh, here um, uh, which uh, needs to be um, identified uh, within the error checking formula so first thing we do is uh, we trim the email address um, with the spaces uh, at the end uh, sorry at the, within the email address but trimmed on either side so if there's any spaces uh, on either end in this case it's got a trailing space at the end that needs trimming the trim function um, uh, cuts off any space at the beginning and the end so uh, we can just look at the um, the issue relating to uh, the spaces within the uh, within the email address then next thing we do is we find out what the length of the um, trimmed email address is in this case it's 30 and then the next thing we do is uh, for the trimmed email address and we we if there is a space we substitute using the substitute formula the space with nothing then um, with the substituted trimmed email address uh, with the space substituted with nothing we look at the length of the um, email addresses once those operations for step two and three have been done so um, in this case it's 28 then step five um, we subtract the value for of uh, of uh, the number in step four from the value in step two and we get a value of two and then um, we wrap that around a if formula so if the email address was fine in terms of there's no mid spaces then that should be zero um, but if there are spaces then that will be greater than zero and then you will see um, a value returned by the formula to say it's middle spaces so the user can see that the issue um, category is uh, middle spaces for this one and for all other cases there's no middle spaces then return nothing Finally, we create a issues count column, which simply counts the number of issues for each email address. There's a total of a maximum of six issues I've created for each email address. And what uh, the formula does is it counts the number of blanks. So those with no issues uh, within the, the full uh, set of six columns, it takes it away from the number six. And then that would be, then what will be left will be the number of issues for each email address. So it's useful so that if you um, click on the filter drop down and then you can see those uh, email addresses with either zero issues, one issues or more than one issue. So let's go for um, email addresses with two issues. So here are email addresses with two issues. They might not necessarily be the same, but in terms of the number count is two. So here uh, we can see this one here um, in cell B20, there's two art symbols there, which is which has been detected. And there's also a, a trailing space at the end, which you can't see, but it, it exists. Uh, let's go for uh, email addresses, uh, which are four issues. Um, so you can see here, um, uh, there's no art symbol uh, uh, for the email address in B36. And there's also leading space, trailing space, and, and and as you can see, there's a middle space as well. Take that and close it. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video, and I hope to see you on the next video. Stay tuned.